Hello and welcome back to What I Am Playing. This is for the month of June 2012. Uh, 2012. Wow, I can't believe I did that. It's 2013. Fun fact. In the number 7 spot is Mass Effect 3 for PC with 5 hours played. Alright guys, I think it's done. I think I'm getting tired of Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. It only took... Came out in March 2012. A year and three months. Two months. A year and two months. Or three months. Yeah, it's three months. It only took a year and three months, and uh, I'm finally, I think I'm getting tired of it. Um, mainly because I don't have anybody to play with anymore um, on PC. And there's a few people who still play it once in a while on an Xbox, but I traded it in. And got like five dollars for it, which is bullshit. But uh, yeah, so that's why I only got five hours. I'm still doing that uh, uh, gold adventures thing, but I haven't actually recorded some in a while. I might do some tonight. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah. So Mass Effect Three. It's still fun to play, but I'm just getting tired of it. In the number six spot is XCOM Enemy Unknown for PC. I finally beat it. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it took me so long to beat this game. Uh, yeah, it, it's a great game. Uh, it just, I couldn't beat it for a while. It took me so many tries to beat this game. And, uh, voice crack. Uh, yeah. It's still a fun game. I would recommend it to anyone who likes uh, turn-based shooters, which is different from it, from other, you know, games. Um, but yeah, they're coming out with a new like it's like a third-person shooter. I think XCOM: The Bureau looks pretty sweet. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll have to check that out when it comes out. I've seen an E3 trailer, and it looks cool. So. Yeah, uh, XCOM and Even Known, still a good game. I would recommend it to, to anyone who likes turn-based games. In the number 5 spot is Grand Theft Auto 4 for PC. Uh, I bought Grand Theft Auto 4 for PC like a while ago. It was on sale for like $7, the uh, Game of the Year edition. And uh, it, it has so many high reviews and... I don't know why. I mean, it's I mean, it's a good game, but I, game of the year. Or ni Metacritic has got a 98. 98. That's ridiculous. It's got it's higher than every other game. Other than Half Life Two. Um. I mean, I've been playing it because Grand Theft Auto Five is coming out, and I'm like, I should probably beat this game. So I'm gonna beat it, and then I all the mods on PC make it fun. Well, and not fun. It just makes the game look way better. I have a that ice enhancer mod where it makes it look like amazing. <laughs> um, but I can't get it to work right. Sometimes like the cutscenes will be really really bright, or the sky will turn red. It's really strange. Um, and then you can also add in your own custom. Ow, my thumb just cracked. Uh, you can add in your own custom music for a, like a certain a station, which is really cool. Kind of takes away the ability to record for YouTube, but not that I'm going to record that game for YouTube. Maybe I will if someone else f plays with me. I'll play like multiplayer or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think it's one of the most overrated games. I've ever heard of, but it's still, it's fun, and it, yeah, it's, I'll play it, beat it, hopefully, this month, maybe, I don't know. In the number four spot is MLB 13, the show for PS3, with seven hours played. I'm still playing MLB the show, I don't play it as much right now, because I've been playing The Last of Us on PS3. And uh, on PS3, I only play one game at a time because I don't really, I don't like the PS3. Um, but, 
yeah, MLB The Show is awesome, and you should play it if you like baseball. I know not a lot of people like baseball, but when I, I think I went over this in a previous episode, but whenever a season comes around for sports, be it basketball, football, baseball, I really want to play those games for some reason. Like, I'm sure when football season comes around, I want to play Madden. When basketball season comes around, like, right, right around the final, NBA finals, I want, really wanted to play M, uh, NBA 2K13. But I'm like, nope. Don't want to waste 50 bucks on a game that I'll probably play for a month or two because I won't get tired of it. So, yeah. Uh, it will be the show 13. Hopefully they make a bunch of... Uh, really good improvements in the PS4 version. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that, actually. Although, I don't... don't know... I, I don't know if I'll be getting the PS4 or not. But we'll see. We'll see. In the number 3 spot is Fallout 3 for PC with 8 hours played. I'm still doing my uh, Fallout 3 playthrough on my channel. I am on episode 32 as of right now. If you would like to watch that, there will be a link in the description, and, or there's an annotation on the screen right now, and you can probably get my thoughts on Fallout 3 there. In the number 2 spot is The Last of Us for PS3 with 21 hours played. Uh, the Last of Us. Oh man, it's so good. Uh, I would recommend this to anyone who has a PS3. If you don't, if you have a PS, a PS3, and you do not play this game, you are doing yourself a disservice. It is amazing. Um, it's, it's I. I'm not a fan of the PS3 controller, but I can get around that for this game. This game is amazing. Um, I've only seen a handful of people who don't like the game, like. In like YouTube comments of like Let's Plays, out of like ten thousand videos or comments, there'll be like three guys who don't like it. I mean, that's insane. Um, it's a little bit like uh, Uncharted. Um, uh, gun when you're shooting your gun, like gunplay wise, but it's more like it's got stealth. Uh, it's got, um, like, the puzzles are, like, you have to try and get to this area or move this person to this spot to open up a new area or whatnot, and it's just, it's so good. Story-wise, it's probably one of the better, better, uh, stories of the year. Um, it's gonna be between that, this game, and Bioshock Infinite, and... If GTA 5 is any good, it'll probably be between those three games before Game of the Year this year. I don't see any other games that are that come out this year that are going to be that good. Um, Assassin's Creed 4, maybe. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Battlefield 4, if the single player is fantastic, which I doubt. But the multiplayer is going to be amazing. Um, but, yeah. The Last of Us. Go play it. If you don't have a PS3, I do have a Let's Play of this game on my channel. Go check it out. In the number one spot for most played game of June 2013 is Battlefield 3 for the Xbox 360 with 49 hours played. I am still playing a Battlefield 3. Yes, uh, a little minor thing. Uh, the gameplay you're looking at is on the PC. I have been playing a little bit more of the PC version, um, but I'm still playing a lot of the Xbox version. Um, it's still a very good game. It is... I just can't wait for Battlefield 4. I, the new map that they showed at E3 is... Oh man, it looks so good. Uh, they said like each map is going to have something similar to the skyscraper that falls down. I mean, it's going to be like a an event that uh, triggered by... Uh, players that can catastrophically chain alter the the uh, the uh, the map. So can't wait. I, I'm so excited for this the Battlefield 4. Uh, I'm in the beta for the 360 version and the PC version. 
So I'll probably be posting gameplay from that. Uh, it'll probably be September. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next month in uh, top played games of uh, June.